hope everyone is doing fantastic. It is a wonderful Friday. I'm doing great. Vivi's doing good. We got up a little late this morning, but we're doing good. Uh, had a fun night last night playing some Skyrim. We did a bunch of the Doomir stuff. Finished up the Ethereum. Crafted the staff. Um, what else did we do? We did the Periite Shrine quest. Figured out what was going on with uh, that Daedra. And, and we started up the main quest. Uh, we went up to High Hrothgar. And got that going. Got the Horn of uh, Jurgen. And then we killed the dragon right afterwards with, um, what's her name? The Blaze Lady. Can't remember her name. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. We're going to keep going with the main story. I think we're going to find some good books uh, heading that way. Is the hope anyways. We found a couple last time when we were doing the main quest. So hopefully we get some more doing that. That's the plan for the day. Just truck on through the main story. Try and get some of the shouts done. We might be a little overpowered and broken for it, but who knows? Could be fun. Let's hop over. Yeah, last night it was good. It was a good stream. Had had a bunch of fun. Had a real good time. So we're back. D doing the Thursday into the Friday morning is is kind of crazy. It's fun. Bunch of gaming time. Bunch of gaming time. So we got nothing to DE. I think we did a pretty good job. Oh no, we didn't. We we do not. We need to drop some stuff off. Uh oh. Starting the morning with a bunch of crap in our in our inventory. Dragon bones. We can get rid of those. Throw that in there. So much gold. What is weighing us down so much? Was it just the dragon bones? Yeah, I think so. We have the Dawnbreaker. That's going to be really useful, actually, for the main, the main story, because we fight so much on, so much um, Draugr. Hey, Krabby, good morning. Yeah, you sc you scuttle into the ground. You do your thing. Should we start whip up some potions really quick? We have so many ingredients. I feel like we need to do this. It's been so long. Maybe we'll start with that and then we'll jump into the main quest. So, so many ingredients. This is jumping our weight so much. This is why we don't carry all this stuff all the time. Crazy. That put on like 115 pounds or something of crap. Yeah, we're gonna make some healing. Oh wait, we need to put on our uh, we have gloves and a necklace. I think that make these better. If I'm not mistaken. In here. Yep. Oh, a helmet. That's what it is. The circlet of alchemy. Nice. And then we have the gloves. That's 35% more. That's kind of crazy. I wonder if we could put on... Oh, we're so heavy, but... I wonder if we could make a necklace and stuff quick. A necklace and a ring of alchemy to make our stuff even stronger. We dumped a bunch of that stuff in here. We can make those really quick. We can make, uh... I think Vivi's being crazy out there. Just heard her throwing toys around. We took a necklace and a ring. Let's go up to the enchanting room. Oh man, we're so heavy. Is there stuff we can eat quick? 
to learn things. Oh, that's teaching us alchemy too. I forgot that. Pedro Heart. That gives restore health. That's kind of crazy. I love this part of the game. It's so enjoyable to me. We have the 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 skill or whatever that teaches us everything when we eat one. Super good. Okay. Well, that was everything. We're still pretty heavy. Oh. That's okay. We we got time. I am naked. Oh, whoops. Uh, do we have our enchanting stuff on us too, actually? Do we have something that did enchanting? I think it was just a potion. Yeah, I think it was just a potion that we drank one time. We should do that too. Make stuff that it makes our enchanting stronger. Fortify alchemy. We don't have fortify enchanting, do we? Huh. I thought we did. Grand soul gem. 12%. Holy crap. We, we already have... We don't need to do it on the helm. We already have a helm. Ring. Necklace. You can't do fortify alchemy on a neck? That sucks. Oh yeah, you can. It's right here. Just missed it. 12%. Oh, now our potions are going to be so strong. I should have renamed them. Whoops. Let's. I don't want to favorite them. Potion. There we go. There we go. Let's go make some potions. Oh, we're so heavy. We have like a hundred, hundred pounds of in, uh, not enchanting, but. Freaking alchemy stuff on us. That's why it's important. Put your stuff away. Put your ingredients away. Otherwise, you'll weigh a million pounds. Okay. So we want. Obviously, we want healing potions. These are so important. 46 health. What the best we can do? It's still pretty good. Health increased by 36 points and restores health. That hurts us. That also hurts us. Okay. Let's craft those. Craft up some of those. And then we also need some more restore magic potions because we're probably running low after doing all those things. We can still do 46 is pretty good. Magic points increased. Okay. Oh, that's a poison. Holy crap. The way like it adds so many other things is crazy. Poison and it restores magic. Resist fire and restore magic. Oh, and is a... And it's a poison. Okay. That's...
that's pretty good. That should hold us for a bit. And then... I don't think we really need restore stamina. We haven't, we haven't really been drinking stamina potions that much. We use magic so much. Fireball is so broken. Uh, ooh, honestly, getting some fortify enchanting potions would be really good for when we want to put enchants on. But, uh, not very good. That doesn't make a very good one. 9% stronger? I guess it's better than nothing. We'll save those. For when we want to do that stuff. Fortify destruction. I don't know if we really need that, but. Just make some regen potions, too. That does a bunch of magic. Restores magic and regenerates magic. Holy crap. Those are no good. When I first started playing this game, I would do that all the time, and I would make potions that would heal me and do damage to me, and I'm like, what is happening? If you don't, if you don't read and you just spam it, you end up hurting yourself. Okay. That's pretty good. The only other one that's good for, like... Um... I like having weakness to, to fire potions, too. Just because we use so much fire. Fireball's nuts. And then some resist magic ones wouldn't be bad, either. 9%? We got our alchemy to 40. That's not bad. Drop our ingredients back off and then we'll go do the main quest. Look at all that. Look at all that weight that just comes off of us. Crazy. Don't carry your ingredients. And don't carry a ton of potions either. Cause they'll they'll eat up your weight too. Keep that on us. Target is seventy percent weaker to frost damage. Holy crap, that's huge. I guess we'll keep that on us just in case. That's pretty good. We'll put these away. Keep the resist magic on us. I like to have a solution of strength on us just in case we get too heavy and we still want to go back. Let's sort this out quick. How much healing stuff do we have? Don't need that. We have so much. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. 198, that's fine. Anything else to drop off quick? Really, we have all this cheese. Let's let's eat some cheese before we head out. Got to fill up for the day. Some cheese and wine. Good stuff. Our our tummy is happy. Why do we have tankers on us? What are we doing? Put those down. All right, Krabby, you watch the place.
We got business to take care of. So we can return the horn and we can go do the diplomatic immunity. Those are the two things that we have. Which, I think we go turn the horn in really fast, get that done, and then we'll go talk to Delphine. Because these guys are waiting. They're waiting on us. I bet they have a ton of books in here, but we're going to have to steal them. Which I don't know how unsavory we're going to be. We've been doing some some stealing. Not a lot. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Munkel. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Aw, oh, damn. Does that mean we get the extra... This is when we get the last part of the shell? Right? We still don't have the whole shout, right? Yeah. We don't have da. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Nice. Da. Which means push. Da. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Nice. We've done so much of this game without having the full shout. Stand between us. Prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. They said, but Dovahin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. That's right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, now we'll go do the diplomatic immunity. Which is the continuation of the main main story. Now that we have the full show. Oh wait, should we go look for books? I think it is stealing, which sucks, but let's look around there. Let's look around High Hrothgar. Maybe it won't be stealing now that we're actually uh, the Dovahkiin. It's not stealing. This used to be stealing. Now that we're known, we can take whatever we want. Nice! Oh, that's awesome. 159. Let's take a look around, see if we can find some books. Not 1,590. We got one more, 159. They kind of have books up here. They're they're old and they have nothing to do except for sit up here. They have to have books. They're geniuses.
Well, they have a bunch of ingredients. A book we've already have. Didn't mean to take that candle, but I guess it's ours. I guess it's ours. Come on, you guys don't have more? Maybe, well, let's check their other chambers. Corey. Courtyard. We'll go out there and look around, but... That's that one. There's... I think this other side has more sleeping quarters. Wolf guy. My good friend. We're pals now. Yes. 160. around some more real quick. Oh my god. 161. 162. I knew it. Oh, a meeting chamber. Well, we got some books. Heck yeah. We're getting there. We're halfway there? Ish? Hopefully the rest of the main story will give us, give us a decent amount. I think we're gonna try and just truck through the rest of the main story and get it done. It's decently long, but we're pretty strong now, so it should go quick. Oh, what a good boy. Yeah, good boy, Stump. Oh, God, we're still... We're still running around naked? Uh-oh. I forgot. <laughs> We've been running around without our stuff on that whole time. Yikes. This is an old staunch protectors. The Imperials. It wasn't me. We drink to our youth today's. I just traumatized that child. Age of aggression is just about done. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. We have the Thalmor, that's right. We're, this is where we have to go now. You're not coming? That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. But they don't know you at all yet. What's your plan? The Thalmor Ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. I remember Once you're this. inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. Okay. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Elenwen's little party. I don't know Maybe why, but solitude stables after you've arranged that in name, I freaking love the winking skeever. So beautiful. Spend some time there. Um, who's this contact here? Is you sure I can trust him? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you, but he hates the Thalmor like at me. least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. I am dangerous. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. We'll 
How am I going to get into this party? Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. I like how this bard is just jamming upstairs. Once I'm inside the embassy, then what? That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Malborn should be able to point you in the right direction. Okay, I'll see you in solitude. Sounds good. Be careful. Hey, hey, Delphine. I think we already got everything out of here. We did some good plundering. Something you're still confused about? Nope, I know what I need to do. Do 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 do. Goodbye, sir. Man was jamming. See, so yeah, look, I'm not get naked. Here. So I'll go easy on you. Don't get on my bad side. Don't get on your bad side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do we have anything we want to get rid of while we're here? Not really. Not really. Okay. Have we been to Solitude yet? I think so. I haven't? I swear we went there to go up here and over. Huh. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's alright. It's quick. Quick carriage ride. I can take you to. Where do you want to go? I have been. This is such a lion game. I just didn't discover it. I'm a fool. Climbing back and we'll be off. It didn't count. It didn't count. Get up there. Dun dun dun. I wasted my 20 gold. Unbelievable. Like I'm I don't even I don't even have 20 gold to spare. Do, do, do. do the winking skiva. I think skeevers are like they're so funny. Giant rats. Oh god. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. Get on with it. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Anvar. They're all harmed again. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Toric. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Wasn't the High He was a child, was it? Am I wrong about that? I don't think that seems very fair, but, you know. On this day. I go to Sovngarde. Yikes. Some gate guard you are! You don't look so good. Are you feeling alright? Oh god, we're still diseased. Are they reforming the Dawn Guard? Vampire Um... I need a shrine. What the frick? I forgot we still have rock joint. Um, where is their place of worship here? They have a shrine of Arcae. Is 
That's at least good. All of the dead. Here we go. Perfect. Where's the RK shrine? <gasps> I did it. It's unsavory. I did it. 163. I freaking did it. There we go. Oh god, now I'm just stealing things. Why am I a horrible person? What happened to me? I've come, become corrupt by the Daedra. I've become corrupt. <laughs> Alright, now to the Winking Skewer. Right? We're good? We're not diseased anymore? The Lordstone. I forgot about this. This thing is so good. It makes this build, like, way better because we have way more armor. We have magic resistance. Super good. Oh, we're still wearing those. Whoops. Um, Amulet of Akatosh. And our ring. There we go. The Empress cousin Victoria Beaches. Did we change our gloves too? Yeah, we did. Okay. Just making sure. We still we need to make better ones of those. Yeah. I know we can get higher than 19%. The Winking Skiva. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. I would like a beverage. Where's the where's the barkeep? Where's the barkeep? Is he sitting at the bar? Spare some gold for a better. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. This is not a good way to run your business, sir. You cannot sit and drink while you're serving people. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Remember the King Skeever next time your foot sore. What do you need? Hi, friend. I have an offer for you. Oh. I didn't mean to throw it on the ground. Yes. No, where are you going? This is for you. Drink this beer. Yes? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. What do you mean? Here's I'm an archmage. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The disrespect. The takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The unbelievable the disrespect. You. Um. I think we're fine. We'll just give him our weapon, okay. our armor, I'll our necklaces. I'll get the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't we're, worry. We're gonna be naked. We're gonna be naked after I give him this stuff. Uh, we don't need Dawnbreaker. We need this. Yeah. Okay. And then we give him some potions. Give. 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 Um. That should be enough. Maybe we'll do that just to be sure. 
Just to be sure. We gave him our weapon. We gave him our armor. We gave him our ring and necklace. And we gave him a bunch of potions. So I think that's good. But now we are naked. So that's... That's something. Whoops. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Don't you tell me who can finger me and who can't. Gotta keep my eyes open. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a Stop spy. Stop following me. I would just look like a crazy person running out of town naked. I thought that was a bear. I thought I was going to get attacked by a bear naked. Have you given Nalborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Does it look like it? I'm kind of naked. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be harmed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. Thank God. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I guess that will have to do. What do you mean? You, you just pass gave me this. a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I am a scholar. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Look at how fancy we look. I kind of forgot what our face looked like because we've been wearing a robe so long. Oh, we have that cool tattoo on our face. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Ahaha! <laughs> Man after my own taste. He likes the ale. There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, maybe he's a little, a little further off the beaten path than me. I will just rest here. Welcome to the Tholmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. I like beer, but I don't drink that much. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Ah, that was easy. Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thumb. Why would you say that? Yeah, I don't have a poison dagger attached to my leg. Don't, don't, don't check me. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. Well, this is unfortunate. We're not supposed to talk to you. Um, my name's Crimson. Pleased to meet you. Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? Something tells me that if we did the College of Winterhold first, killed two high people in the Thalmor Embassy, because we killed our cannon. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. I will. Thank you. Our cannon, and we killed his uh, other subordinate. When they were trying to take over the the college, he didn't hear about that at all. Something tells me that's that's not true. What can I get for you? I feel like she would know all about. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, the new archmage. Open this door, and we can get you on your way. But that's just not how the game works. It'd be cool if it did, if it worked that way, where like you do one thing and it affects the other stuff in the game. But it would kind of break. 
the main story, I guess. I would like yes, an alcohol. Here you go, sir. The finest Colobian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Wow, he's just giving me brandy. Okay. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Yeah. I heard those mages up in. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Well, they're all talking. Okay. Uh. Hey, man. Can you do something for me? What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? I got a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Okay. I'll let you know if I need anything. Actually, there is something you could do for me. That was a ruckus. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. This guy has been putting them down. I need you to cause a scene. Just don't draw the attention to me. Is that all? My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. What does this guy do that he got invited? Is he just a noble? Because he seems attention, like trouble. Everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. Go, Melbourne, go. Our mistress. What? I speak figuratively. Uh, Get in here. More unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be so far so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. They arrested him. We need to pass through the kitchen. Uh, your gear is hidden in the larder. Poor guy. Stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. As much as can be expected. Excellent. I'll leave you to it. Come on, Malborn. Let's go. Who comes, Malborn? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest garlic. feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zabani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Bam! I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Now we're throwing the blackmail. If someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Wow. He just did that? He just slammed that lady for doing the moon sugar? Rough. All right. Why did I put that in here? Okay. Let's throw... Oh, it's still on here? Oh, we have to redo that, though. I feel like we could take some of these other spells off. We don't really use Lightning Bolt ever. It might be useful... Eh. The only reason it's useful is, like, taking magic away from people, but... Like, let's be real, that's what my axe is for. Cleaving. Spellcasters. That's what that's for. One, two, three. We don't have something set to four, really? Oh, we had the staff set to four, that's what it was. Five for iron flush, six, seven for fast healing. We don't have something set to eight anymore. Never admit such a thing. Is far too up. I've got to get back before Okay, I okay, miss. okay. Calm down. Go back to bartending. Good luck. You see those robes You're on your own this now. morning? Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages just in from Alidor. 
I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. Damn. <laughs> they don't care about well, them. We well. Get back to our Come on! Oh yeah, these guys are super weak. Easy peasy. I like how they were saying that as one of their friends is a wizard. <laughs> oh. They don't care. They're all they're all scum. Thou more scum. Bell more scum. Just a second. Okay. Just getting a bleep on my phone. Um all good though. What is in here? Ooh, maybe we can find some books in this place. I bet. I bet they have a ton. It is an embassy. Looks like we gotta go that way. Let's go check upstairs. Their way this way? Is that the cat in the kitchen? Rumbling? Taking moon sugar? Okay. Yeah, let's go look upstairs. Maybe they have books up here. Covered. They do have a book, but we have it already. Another potion. Can't hurt. Plentiful healing potion. Can't hurt. That goes out to Skyrim. They have so many fine clothes up here. Do have a book, but we have it. Another book, but we have it. Man just has a pot a, a vial of frostbite venom sitting on his bedside manor. Crazy. Okay, we have all those books. potions in here. I'm not complaining. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, all the books we've seen so far are just ones that we have. That's unfortunate. You checking here? I think so. Okay. Out the Skyrim. How did he see me so fast? Well, that's not good. Ah, kite! Kite, kite, kite! Damn, that hurts. Okay, we're fine. That's why we brought potions. That is why we brought potions. We have so much magic regen now. It's crazy. 
so much. We're only at 250 now because we took that necklace off, but we'll have to put more into it. We'll have to dump more into magic. As we level now. Because having the magic regen is so... So there's somebody in the basement. I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now get out. Etienne must know something really. Oh. Dang it! We got con. Oh, he's stealth again. Look at that. Oh, they're gonna find the body though. What do you mean? You just walked up on a dead body. Well. Killing this guy wasn't in the plans. But he's dead now. Looks like there's one more person in here. I didn't think we were going to be so stealthy. I'm usually horrible at stealth. You know a book we still haven't found too? Uh uh Lusty Argonian Mate. I'm really surprised I haven't found that book yet. Didn't mean to take the basket, but that's fine. A safe! Okay, well, we're getting some books. Pretty good, pretty good. Did we go back here? Did not. Olaf and the dragon. One sixty five. <laughs> Holy crap! That brandy! Eight gold in a chest? Who keeps eight gold in a chest? Is that even worth it? You just open that thing in and chuck some, some coins in there? Okay, we got all the books. Got everything upstairs. Let's go find that guy. Stealth Master. Oh, did he go downstairs? Out of lock- I didn't bring lockpicks! I'm such a fool. I'm so dumb. So many books, but we have them all. Dang. 
Okay, so that goes down. I think the guy went downstairs. Such a weird thing to keep in a whole big barrel. Four apples. In the whole thing. Four apples. Oh my god, this is the treasure trove. Look at this. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Holy moly, we just got five more books. For 170. Once we get to 200, I'm gonna feel pretty good. Some cheese? Absolutely. The cheese master. What if we did a playthrough where... Oh, I don't think these count as books. Um... What if we did a playthrough where the only healing you can do is eat cheese? I feel like that'd be really hard. Dragon investigation. First emissary, Ellen, Ellen Wynn. Uh, we anticipate a breakthrough in our efforts to uncover the party or power behind the dragon resurrection phenomenon. An informant has identified a possible lead we have brought back to the embassy for a full interrogation. The subject is obstinate, but by all indications is holding back the information we seek. I have authorized intermediate manual uncoiling. That sounds not fun. I think that means torture. Um, <laughs> I do not expect more will be necessary unless you feel time presses. I know you prefer to be present for the final questioning. I will inform you immediately when the subject is fully receptive. Two days should tell the tale. In the meantime, I wish you... I wish to audit our technique. Your expertise is welcome. As always, I have placed the prisoner in the cell closest to your office stairs for your convenience. Rulandil the third. This is just our invitation. Ooh, they have a dossier on Delphine? Yeah, good thing she didn't come. Status active, capture or kill, high priority, emissary level approval. Description, female, Breton, mid 50s. She doesn't look like she's in her mid 50s. She looks pretty good for, for 50. Delphine has a high priority target during uh, was a high priority target during the first war for both operational and political reasons. She was directly involved in several of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades within the Dominion. She's been identified and was slated with, for the initial purge. But by bad luck was recalled to Cyrodiil. Uh, just before the outbreak of host hostilities during the war, she evaded three attempts on her life. In one case, killing an entire assassination team. Since then we have only indirect evidence of her movements as she has proven extremely alert to our surveillance. She should be considered very dangerous and no move against her should be made without overwhelming force and the most careful precaution or preparation. Uh, operational notes, she is believed to still be working actively against us within Skyrim, although we have no location on her assumed to be working alone as no other blades are known to be active in Skyrim. She has in the past avoided contact with other fugitive blades for her own security. One of the reasons she has uh, so far evaded elimination. Her continued existence is an affront to all of us. Any information on her whereabouts, our activities should be immediately forwarded to the, th to the third emissary. Huh. So yeah, they're really looking. They're really looking for her. This is on uh, Ulfric. Uh, status, asset, uncooperative, uh, dormant. Description, 
Jarl of Windhelm, leader of Stormcloak Rebellion, Imperial Legion veteran. Ulfric first came to our attention during the first war against the Empire when he was taken as a prisoner of war during the campaign for the White Gold Tower. Under interrogation, we learned of his potential value, son of the Jarl of Windhelm, and he was assigned as an asset to the interrogator, who is now First Emissary Elenwyn. He was made to believe information obtained during his interrogation was crucial in the capture of the Imperial City. The city had in fact fallen before he had broken, and then allowed to escape. After the war, contact was established and he was proven uh, he has proven his worth as an asset. The so-called Markarth incident was particularly valuable from the point of view of our strategic goals in Skyrim, although it resulted in Ulfric becoming generally uncooperative to direct contact. Direct contact remains a possibility under extreme circumstances, but in general the asset should be considered dormant. As long as the Civil War proceeds in its current indecisive fashion, we should remain hands-off. The incident at Helgen is an example where an exception had to be made. Obviously, Ulfric's death would have been dramatically increased the chance of an Imperial victory and thus harmed our overall position in Skyrim. Damn, they don't want they don't want the Imperials to win? I thought they were on the side of the Imperials. Hmm. The coincidental intervention of the dragon at Helgen is still under scrutiny. The obvious conclusion is that whoever is behind the dragons also has an interest in the continuation of the war, but we should not assume, therefore, that their goals align with our own. A Stormcloak victory is also to be avoided, however, so even an indirect aid to the Stormcloaks must be carefully managed. So they're kind of like, they want everyone to just be at war so they can seize power. Which makes sense, the Thalmor are terrible. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, that wasn't what we needed, though, was it? Yeah, we gotta go down here. Then we gotta talk to the guy that's captured. Or save him. Interrogation chamber. Okay, so this is where they're keeping that guy. Never should have. You can't hide from me. Uh -oh. can't hide from me. Oh. Hiya! Door matronage. Well, that was easy. We are way over leveled. Okay. Oh, there's the prisoner. We gotta get him out. What's in this chest, though? Elmo Dossier Esper. There we go. Fugitive capture only, highest priority. Male Nord, late 70s. Esbern was one of the Blades' lore masters prior to the First War against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is now believed to have been behind some of the most damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including the Falonesti incident and the breach of the Blue River Prison. His file had remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Eleanor for punishment and uh, re-education. The erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience. A salu salutary uh, reminder to all operational levels that no Blades agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are found and justice extracted. Exacted upon them. Operational notes, we are still in the dark as to the cause of meaning of the return of the dragons, I have made capturing Esbern our top priority. 
as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match their expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own, which remains largely theoretical. Uh, the archives of Cloud Ruler Temple, which is believed to have been the primary repository of the oldest blades lore, were largely destroyed due to the, during the siege. And although great effort has been made to reconstruct what was lost, it now appears that most of the records related to the dragons were either removed or destroyed prior to our attack. Thus, Esbern remains our best opportunity to learn how and why the dragons have returned. It cannot be ruled out that the blaze themselves are somehow connected to the dragons' return. We've recently obtained solid information that Esbern is still alive and hiding somewhere in Riften. Interrogation of a possible eyewitness is ongoing. We must proceed carefully to avoid Esbern becoming alerted to his danger. If he is indeed in Riften, he must not be given an opportunity to flee. Do they think he's in Riften? Good information. It just says. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I want to save that guy. And we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence, traitor! Already. Move slowly. No, no, no! We're getting out of here. I'll save everyone. Trapdoor key. We're getting out of here. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? What do you want then? No time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Come on. This way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Damn. Sounds good. I'll follow you. Who are you? What are you doing here? I, we just said I need to get out of here. They grabbed me in Riften. They seem to think I know something. They just kept asking me the same damn questions. Oh, damn. They think they know... Or they think he knows where, um... Esprin is. <sighs> Whatever you want. But let's go. Now. Now the Thalmor will be waiting for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Damn. There's something down here. It's a troll! No, I want the coin purse and the gem. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Well, you kind of got into this yourself, so you can't blame me. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Let's get out of here. We did it. We saved both of them. We got out. Where's she at? She's down here at the stables, at the farm. Or is she way back here? She's all the way in Riverwood. Of course she would she would just run away. I gotta do all the dirty work.
Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take this is an old disguise of the staunch over. protectors, the Imperials. We drink to our youth. To Shut the door. For the age of aggression. I am alive, at least. Done. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. We'll drive Did you learn anything useful? And restore what we owe. But they will know nothing about the dragons. Really? We'll take back that seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Why did you send me if you weren't going to believe me? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who... Come on, lady. Or what? Where's the trust? I don't know, but the Thalmor are looking for someone named Esbern. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. So the Thalmor think the blades know about the dragons? Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. I think the dragons are just... Do they know where he is? Just doing their own thing. They seem to think he's hiding in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh. And when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Okay. Cool. We got some more quests. Is this my stuff? It sure is. Do you need something? Do 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 do. Okay, I think we have some junk to get rid of. Potentially. We'll take a quick, quick wait here. Talk to our good pal. Here, so I'll go easy on you. Rodnar, you need to get out of my Thank way. So much for taking care of it. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Do do do. Let's see. I don't need these clothes anymore. You can have them. I don't need this ring. Those are both good. All that stuff's good. Don't need those. Don't need that. Oh, he's almost out of money. Okay. Till next time. We have so much, so much money. Crazy. What are we gonna do? And I'll prank you. Not a little. What are we gonna do with twenty-six thousand gold? I don't even know. Okay, we gotta go down to Riften. We have not been here. We've been to the stables, though? Yeah, been to the stables. Okay. I think so, too, Stump. I think so, too. Let's just drop these poisons on the ground for these kids to play with. I, s I didn't say that out loud. Yeah. I think you dropped this. Good thing I brought it to you. Huh? Nope. Keep it away from me. I don't want it. 
Damn, kid. He's trying to be nice, and I don't. I don't want it. I don't want it. That's like the only nice kid I've ever seen in Skyrim. The rest of them are just punks. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. No. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Alright, keep your voice down. Get out of my damn way. To hear you, I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside when you're ready. That's why you uh, get your speech up a little bit, so you're not, not getting scammed. I had another run-in with a thief's skill. A bunch of turds. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble. Uh, what is it to you? Oh, well, you know what? I'm not really scared of you. That's the wrong answer. <laughs> Last thing the Blackbriars need around here is some troublemaker trying to steal a piece of the action. I'm not trouble. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for him. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Why would you tell me that? Got any dirt on this? Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. Huh. So what do you want to know? What's the gem worth? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. Okay, so that's cool. Found out something about those gems. Become a full member of the Thieves Guild? Be seen wait, around. wait, 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 wait. What did you want? The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Okay. I, I had to know. We, I want to do the blood. I want to do the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Really getting tired of your excuses. Yeah, when they're reforming the dawn god. Vampire doubles or something. In the old form. How was I supposed to see the shit that was going on? The bee and the barb. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with her constant an inebriation. Work in your life for all Put down your flagons you filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of Kai. No, no, Mara. No. We talked about this. Tell him. Kira, uh, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. Man, it's preaching. must be made aware of the chaos they Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, lad. I have done so much honest work to make this money. It might involve killing some bandits and undead and dragons, but it's honest work. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn the septum of it honestly. I can tell. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. What do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. We're gonna do some thieving? Do we have to learn how to be a thief? What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. Honestly, if you don't level up your stuff for this, 
This quest is so annoying. And I have to like uh some um save scum it because it messes up all the time. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from eight in the morning until eight in the evening. Meet me then, if you've still got the stomach for it. This guy's working twelve hour shifts. Why are we doing this to Branche? We've been contracted to make sure Branche remembers not to meddle in affairs that aren't his own. Now, Damn. since we're not the Dark Brotherhood, we're not going to kill him. We're just going to make sure he sits in the prisons for a few days. I'll be at the market come morning. Okay. Okay, lad. Ready to make some coin. But it's not even morning. If you got the coin, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Or let's take a nap. You know, it's been. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. How long have we been playing? How long have we been playing? Yeah, like in total. Sixty-nine days, and I haven't slept once. It's impressive. What can I get you? Me? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Let's go. Let's go I'll sleep. Right this way. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. Currently. As of this month, I'm afraid we're going to have to double the cost of Blackbriar Mead. As you're no doubt well aware, there's quite a bit of civil unrest occurring in, within Skyrim with the, re the un with this unrest uh, comes increased cost to us for shipment protection, ingredients, and labor. I think you'll find your customers more than willing to share in this burden by absorbing the cost through a price increase. I recommend you institute immediately. Failure to comply with our new costs will result in an immediate interruption of Black Fire Mead. That sounds like... Um, yeah, what should we call what it? Want? Price gouging? This is about the meadery. We can talk later. Yeah, what's your problem? Yeah, what's your problem? You're my problem. Lady. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay. Thanks, Kirava. Now get out of my room. It's weird. Looking for a place to stay? First time we've slept in 69 days. Crimson must be tired. Well rested. I bet. I freaking bet. That's a buff, and I. What does it give you? All skills improve 10% faster for 8 hours. It's pretty good. We should sleep more often. <laughs> Another book. Okay, one. Are there more books up here? What does this say? Talon J. I've checked with Mar Marmel, and I'm certain an arrangement can be made to incorporate th the traditional Argonian bonding ceremony should the need arise. It would be our pleasure to receive you at the temple and to have Marmel perform a marriage ceremony between yourself and Kirava. We'd request the appropriate tithe uh, be made as we previously discussed. Whatever you decide, uh, I wish you both the best of luck and hope to see you soon. They want to get married? That's so sweet. Yeah, we got two more books. Mm -hmm. 
What's in here? Oh, this is their room. Uh-oh. Forge business? It's in that lockbox. Oh no, I stole all their money. I like how I say it and uh, don't feel any remorse. Now you'll never be able to buy the... the black bri briar mead. Where's the frickin' way down? Yeah, we have gotten a decent amount of books doing the main quest. I'm happy about that. that. That's good stuff. Obviously, the this is the thieves guild stuff, but I like your robes. Are you a sorcerer from the college? No. Purchase above Not the just budget. any the sorcerer. Only twenty city really gets to hurt. You're a stranger here too, huh? Looking to stay alive. This guy's selling that big old potion for twenty. Ready to make some coin. Uh, I'm ready. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone, quick save. Gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. Gather round, all. Gather round. This way, everyone. Over here. I think this is the the one. I hope. Master lock. Hold on. Hold on. What is it? Holy crap. Why is this a master lock? What? This guy's rocking like the best security in the world for a tiny little stand. What the hell? Patience, Branche. Oh, this is not him. This is a rare opportunity. Whoopsies. That's what you said about the wisp <laughs> essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerve. It was just somebody else's thing. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item requires a key. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. What? Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends. What the hell? Masters of great magic. Imagine the power Is that the wrong one? I thought it was Branche. Hey, How did you get that then? Yep, see, we gotta reset. What the hell? Oh no, we want to steal out of this guy and put it in the other guy's pocket. That's what it was. That chick's got a freaking master lock though, that's nuts. Here we go. Now we quick save again. We put this ring in his pocket. Eighty percent chance and it messed up. Is what I'm talking about. This game. Ruining my life. This is a rare opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence. And it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Freaking ridiculous. Well, thank God. My time is up. Come back tomorrow. Make it quick. <laughs> what a waste of time. 
Yeah. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. You 80 percent chance that it didn't work. Promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. What's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Heck yeah. First of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. We are professional. Oh, I can handle it. All right then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. That feels pretty good. Uh, I do want to do the Thieves Guild stuff eventually. Um, I do. I do want to do the Thieves Guild stuff. All right, Branche. Turn out your pockets. We know you have it. Have what? What in blazes are you talking about? Don't play stupid. I said turn out your pockets. Now. I'm telling you, I don't... Wait, what's this ring? This isn't mine. That's right, it isn't yours. Ah, uh, thief. This is insane. I didn't steal anything. I never saw this ring before. Take him to prison. We can do this one of two ways. Take him. You can walk with me to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? But no, I... Very well. Sure, sure. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak to me? Oh, that was sad. That was a very sad thing that we just walked past that guy. Uh, into the ratways. Yeah, we're gonna do Asburn first. We'll come back to the Thieves Guild uh, eventually, and we'll have to do this eventually too, the Dark Brotherhood. Let's see, it's 9.30. Before we get into the rat way, I'm gonna get up really quick, take a quick break, grab some more coffee. Uh, it's, it's, it needs to be pumping in my veins. Um, going from, from night into, into morning. I uh, didn't get as much sleep as I wanted, so I just need a little bit more coffee. So we're gonna run the ad really quick, get that out of the way. I'm gonna go grab some coffee and we'll be right back. And then we'll uh, we'll f see what Esburn's doing. Oh um, no, Droff. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? We're living in a sewer. You said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? Dude, they are okay. Okay. I'm they got some big goals. Give up. You still can. That guy's name is Black Skeever. Whee. What a name. I'm super excited today, though. Um. My partner, now that she is back at the at the university for grad school, gets um is like part of their tuition and stuff that they get access to the university uh, gym, which is really nice and like pretty brand new. Um, and I have my own workout space for the most part. I use here at home. It's it's literally just right to the left of me. Um. This, this is like my office and then gym workout area. Um, and I have a decent amount of stuff, but I don't have like a squat rack. So I'm gonna... I can tag along with her. And we're gonna, do, we're gonna start doing that once a week so I can go do legs at the gym. Super excited for that. Um, being able to actually go squat in a rack again is gonna be cool. It's gonna feel good. I have a lot of stuff that I can like do here, just with what I have, but I cannot do 
good squats and stuff. So it'll be good to get a nice leg day in. Been trying to get back on a good workout schedule. It's tough. Uh, pretty much ever since COVID, I've had a rough time getting back to being healthy. Hey, thanks for being a wonderful bot. Thank you. Get out of here. Goodbye. Um. Doo -doo -doo. But yeah, it's super exciting. Um. We, uh. She's wanting to get back into it too. It's really cool to have a bunch of like group classes and stuff, and she's excited for that. And uh, I'm excited to be able to go use like the the squat racks and stuff. So, holy crap! There we go. Level up. Okay, we have 60 enchanting now. So the next two levels, spell scribe's not gonna be that important because we don't really, we don't ever dual cast. But, might and magic. You're adept at weaving blade and magic. Spell cast with your left hand, 10% more effective if you're wielding a weapon in your right hand, and attacks with a weapon in your right hand deal 10% more damage if you're wielding a spell. This is perfect. For our spell sword, um, thing. which is crazy. I love it. So that's gonna be awesome. I think we should also get thunderstruck eventually because that seems pretty good too. It makes our power attacks do even more damage with our enchants. But it sucks we have to waste a point on this. But once we get to this, that's gonna be good stuff. <laughs> Is that a new book? Oh, I love it. We're finding so many today. Heck yeah. Oh, a skeever. Poor guy. Just a little rat. Just a little rat hanging out. You know what this reminds me of? I think it has something to do with something, but it reminds me of... It reminds me of Zelda. Ocarina of Time, when you walk into the... the the Kokiri Forest. There's the stump. The guy's playing the panpipe on. That's what that reminds me of. Alright, we're trying to find... Uh, what's his name? Yeah. We're trying to get to uh, Esburn. I feel bad. We're just like... Damn, those are cool. Uh, we're just murdering all these people that are living down in the sewers. That doesn't feel good. Maybe we'll do a playthrough sometime as a Khajiit and do a fist. Be like a monk. We could do like a monk thief ish build as a Khajiit. Oh, that would be cool. Sneak around all the time and use our fists. Because they get extra damage. Get those gloves. That could be a fun playthrough. Maybe sometime. Oh, more cheese. Love it. Love it. Okay. Down here? 
needs us. Good thing we don't just like bolt through doors. That wasn't even the right way. Is it through the ragged flagon that he's at? There's the rat way for his hideout. Maybe it is. Maybe it's through the back door. Give it up, Radio. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. I'm There's looking for no an old guy hiding here. out somewhere in Riften. Huh. A lot of old guys around. I don't really know how I can help. I need to talk to him. I'm a friend. His life's in danger. That's a touch of story. Now get out of my face! Hey, will you, huh. will you do it for money? I don't really know how I can help. Well, when you put it that way, I think I do know the old guy you're talking about. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Of course. someone bring him food and such? Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. Good coffee. Okay, so he's somewhere down here. Mm hmm Well, well. Oh. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Well, getting here was easy. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Who are they? Rava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. No! Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. We gotta beat up on the lady that's getting married? That's sad. Well. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. That's sad. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Right. You said we don't kill people because we're the not the Dark Brotherhood. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Uh. Okay. Hell Let's figure this out really fast. Debella dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the Bee and Barf, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Yeah, I saw they're getting married. Any help with Versailles? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly Dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Damn. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. Did she say anything we need to know? Okay. I'll be here when you're done. Like I said, we'll come back to the Thieves' Guild. We'll come back to that. Said she saved us a lot of trouble. Have anything for us? Yet. Very good. I'll tell Bree. I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. Shipments arrived. Our shipment arrived, and the following items are on your list. You want in? I need to see the gold. Fire salt, paralytic poison, black briar, private reserve, shadow, banish wine, chokeberry preserves. Talk to me again when you've proven yourself to bring you off. A warning. Master of sneaking, huh? If I ever catch you trying to sn to sneak a peek at me while I'm bathing in the lake again, I'll cut off your most valuable asset. Yikes! You better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Who's Delvin? You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. This guy? <laughs> he was trying to sneak a peek. Oh, you dirty, dirty man! 
Okay, into the ratways, yeah. Do they have any books in here? They do, but nothing that we don't have already. Okay. Down to the ratways. Okay, there are a bunch of more people down here. Mm hmm. Battleborn? Why the hell are they down here? How did they beat us here? What the heck? Uh, really quick, we're gonna throw... Another common soul into this bad boy. It was pretty full still, but... And, yeah, like I said, that, that enchanting... Um, skill is super handy. It, uh... Gives us that that recharge every time we kill somebody. But just slightly helps us curve the amount of souls that we need. Which, speaking of, I should be running around with um, that. Honestly, we need to. We can get some more common souls by sucking them up with this thing, or lesser souls. We'll see if. scale though man those were better than the ones we have all this money I just realized we probably still have the wrong things equipped, don't we? No, we do. We put them back on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dang, did we kill everyone? Before I remembered to use this freaking mace? To get souls. What the heck. Into the Warrens. Into the Warrens. Nice. XP is XP. Somebody in here? I had a medal. It had someone's face on it. I threw it away after. It didn't help. Their fires lit up the night, all across Lake Rumere, like stars come to Earth. It was beautiful, really. Who are you? Okay, well, we don't want to kill these people. It's fine. If we don't have to kill people, we don't have to kill people. Unlock. Oh, 
What is she doing? Knife. Yes. Book. Yes. Bucket. Yes. Ink pot. No. We'll just leave her there. <laughs> what was that? Oh. What? Why are you angry at me? <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Are you a crazy person? Come over here, please. Pretty please. I'm gonna do <laughs> well tonight, my darling. <laughs> you can't win this. Is he a murderer? Or I yield, I yield. What the hell? Yo, I want the chef hat though. Did that for many, many years. The deaf? Oh no. Mercy. I didn't want to kill you. I think that other guy was a murderer, though. He was crazy. Help. You hear how he was talking? Spare me, please. Somebody help! Yeah, well. You guys run around and be crazy. It's fine. I'll leave you alone. I will leave you alone. Let's talk to our guy. Go away! Esbern, open the door. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esbern. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? It's okay, Delphine sent me. But Thalmor have found you. You need to get out of here. But Delphine? How do you... So, so you finally found her. And she led you to me. It's true. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Uh, Delphine needs your help to stop the dragon. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. You'd better come in and tell me how you found me and what you want. That was a very easy this to convince just him. Take a moment. Death is hard. This one always sticks. There we go. One, two, three, four. Is that five? Okay, a couple more. This man has five locks on this door. There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself a that's better. What the hell? We can talk. That's crazy. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. What do you mean, hopeless? Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here Damn. or in the afterlife. Aldwin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Well, that got dark. Alduin, the, the dragon who's raising the others? Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. You're talking about the literal end of the world. Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Alduin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldwin the World Eater. Mm -mm. I'm a dragonborn. What? You are? Can it really be true? I know, crazy. I'm an dragonborn. orc. Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Think about that, though, like... The moment, I must gather if you you're an Argonian or a Khajiit, and then you were born as the Dragonborn? No. No use in this trash. Where to put the annotated annual. Wild.
One moment. I know time is of the essence, but mustn't leave secrets for the Thalmor. More, I must bring. Um, More books. Well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. No, 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 no. There are books here. I need them. One. Ooh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. That lady is crazy. Six. Damn. Awesome. Okay. So we're up to 179. You've put a huge dent in today. Ink pot, stone, bucket. Field dagger of binding. What does that do? Oh, it's a soul gem one. Okay. Other books here that we know? No glowing ones? Okay. Hey, at least we got six. That's pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Bucket, knife, book, ink pot. No. Did you no. need something? No. We should keep moving. We didn't even have to tell him the riddle thing to get him to follow us. Let's get out of here. Oh no! He's just gonna kill her. Jesus Christ, Esburn. Chill out. He wasn't doing anything, she was just crazy and deaf. Why is that a level 36? Jesus. So yeah, some things scale pretty good. Um... Wasn't expecting that. Crying. I don't know where they're at. Holy crap! Freaking level 36, man. He just had a lot of health. It wasn't that hard. I bet if his fireballs hit me, that would have that would have been. Not good. Let's get the heck out of here. Come on, Esburn. Are we safe? Are we safe now? Did you hear that? Maybe we have to get all the way out. Coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. The rat way. a skeever, you weirdo. 
how you pay for meddling in <laughs> Who's that? No Tishafari. We came out of nowhere. I have good reason to believe the target will be coming to Riften in the next few days. Discretion is preferred, but elimination of the target is of the highest priority. The usual restrictions on exposure are lifted. You will be resigned. Reassigned outside Skyrim if necessary without penalty. Do not fail me. E. That was coming from Elenwyn. Had to have. She sent an assassin for us. She found out. She knows who we are. Yes? What is it? We should keep home. Do we need to get out of Riften? I run the meat and produce stand at the market. Come by and see if you want some fresh food. You must be one of those wizards from the village. Hey, did you say something? Oh, we just go back to Riverwood. I hope he follows us. Otherwise, this is going to be rough. It's going to be a long trek. Thank God. Feindal thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from you. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. No one cares about your semantics. Delphi. I, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Okay. Ordnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. Back this to the hidey way. hole. Get in here, Esper. Go. Let's see what Esbern has to Weirdo. say. Weirdo. Now then. I assume you know about... Oh, yes. Dragonborn. Indeed. Yes. Well, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose. So we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? A rambling old Give man? just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come. Let... You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. I had no idea. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world. Its location was lost. Esmer, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldrin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his turn. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. 
Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. Damn. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Uh, well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Carthspire in the Carth River Canyon. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. You meet me there. I don't travel with people. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry. I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Carthspire. Good luck. Sweet. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Annals of the Dragon Guard. Scribes notes. I have faithfully copied the following the Annals of the Dragon Guard of Skyhaven, Temple of the Years 2800-2819. Uh, Brother Annalus. Emperor Kaistav again ordered the Dragon Guard to seize hostages from Markarth and Holden to ensure that the Jarls meet their conscription quotas. Our master's official protest was denied as usual. This will make relations with the local populace more difficult, although the hostages are in fact housed and trained with the other acolytes. On the outbreak of Win the Winterhold Rebellion, our master refused orders to send the Dragon Guard out to help suppress the rebellion. The Emperor ordered our supplies cut off, but we have made arrangements with the local Reachmen and are effectively self-sufficient. The Grandmaster supports our Master's action on the grounds that it violates the Oath of Allegiance. The Temple's besieged the Fool Kalen was sent to Winterhold and sacked the city, and there was a reason he was denied entry into the Dragon Guard. Local people do not count the difference between Akavari. All our years of building up trust with people of Skyrim are now for naught. 2806, we learn of the uh, accession of or accession of Remen II of Blessed Name. When the siege of the temple was lifted, we provided the honor guard for the Emperor's first visit to Skyrim. A great boost to the temple's prestige. 2809, we received reports of a dragon in the east. Scouts were sent immediately, and signs of it were discovered. But it fled at our approach. The survivors have grown weary indeed. 2812, we finally received permission from the Emperor to begin construction of Alduin's Wall. Craftsmen from temples across the Empire have arrived and begun the great work overseen by our master. As is only fitting as she is unmatched in her dragon lore. 2813, work on Alduin's wall progresses. The master dismissed several craftsmen from a western temple that I do, do not need to name. They are so well known for stiff-necked pride, which has delayed the work. There must be no compromise. Alduin's wall is our gift to those that come after us. 2815, the Grand Master visited the temple in the summer to view the progress of the wall. He's received complaints about the expense. There's no doubt where these originate, but he was so impressed by the wall, even in its half-finished state, that he gave our master a right, a writ of requisition under the Emperor's seal. There will be no more delays. Further reports of dragons in the east, which could not be verified. 2818, an auspicious year, Elduin's wall was finished. A dragon was located and slain. And Emperor Remen II visited to officially dedicate the wall. The blood seal was consecrated in the presence of all the Dragon Guard of Skyrim, the great honor of which few temples can boast. One eighty. That's really cool. The I like the dragon, the Dragonborn lore. It's good stuff. Good stuff in there. Arcane Enchanter. And we can get rid of this now. 
Nice, we learned Soul Trap. Awesome. Ognard, this is it. The inn is yours. I'm probably never coming back here. Oh, damn. Well, now, that's something to think about. Take care of yourself, Orgnar. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You too, Delphine. You'll be safe. Goodbye, Orgnar. What do you need, Dragonborn? Nothing. I don't need anything. I'll meet you there. Heart Spire. Oh, good thing we've been so close to it, too. It'll be easy. We do have a lot of junk on us, though. So, like always, to the traitors. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Yeah, right, but why won't you sell things to me? Maybe you're looking for something... Is it too late in the day? Is it close up shop? No, maybe it was too early in the morning. Take a look. How did I get in then? Did I just break it in? I mean, this guy does love me, so... You know, it is what it is. Do, 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 do. Damn. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should work on our speech so people have more money. We have so much junk always to get rid of. I didn't want to go here. I wanted to go to White Room. Always so much stuff to get rid of. Got some good hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Iron War Axe of Fatigue. We don't need that. Okay. Don't forget to check inside the shop. We'll go check our friend up here really fast. And then we have a bunch of potions and stuff we can probably get rid of. Um, Let me know if you see anything. In ingredients we can drop off. So we'll head back to our yeah, base really fast. And then oh, we'll head up this, to the, the last place. Whatever. Not the last place, but the other. Doo -doo -doo. You can have this kettle. Yeah, I think most of our weight is just coming from this crap <laughs> and potions and maybe books now. There's nothing else really in here that's weighing us down a ton. I think it's just a bunch of potions. <laughs> Getting that speech up. Getting that speech up. Let's just go drop off some stuff real quick. And then we'll head up to the Sky Temple. We have this stuff to drop off, don't we? Do 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 do. Ingredients. Yeah, that was a that was a decent bit of weight. Potions, mine.
Let's see. Those ones. We're down to 206 now. Let's drop our books off really quick because we've still got a bunch. But three more books here. That's a book for the quest. Okay. We're running out of bookshelf space. Dang. Didn't think the time would come. Oh yeah, we're doing way better now. 185, that's solid. Solid. Let's get out of here. Let's go find the dragon. The dragon lore. I think our fastest way is going from Red Eagle over down. I think. I hope. Quick save. Someone tells me we're going to be fighting some, some people. Something tells me we're going to be finding some people. What did we have this on for? The ethereal staff, that thing's so good. Ah, yes. The Forsworn. Lots of Forsworn. I won't what? Excuse me? That's what I thought. A book. Would you quit it? I'm looking for books. Ain't a dragon? What the heck? Where'd this dragon come from? Here, my friend. It's freaking red. Is it a gold dragon? I can't tell. What the hell? Holy crap! That hurt. This seems like a problem. Ow. Ah! 
Oh wait, that's my friends. I thought that was more Forsworn. Get up, guys, burn. Holy crap. Tail slam was strong. Holy crap. nuts. The dragon was crazy strong. Yucky, a giant's toe. Dang. That's what we're getting into now? Is we overleveled like crazy? Some freaking elder dragons? I guess that's what we get. That's that's what we get. Holy crap. Guard spire. Okay. Well. Do we want to go drop those bones off and maybe pick up some potions? Now that we've been here? Holy moly, we burned through a bunch just killing that guy. That was brutal. That was brutal. Oh, are they coming into my house? Oh, you guys get it. You gotta see Krabby. Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's grab some potions and we'll drop off the bones. Holy crap. Yeah, we're gonna need those. And... Oh, we have all the magic ones. We didn't put any of those away. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Okay. Damn. Put our dragon bones away, those weigh a ton. Back to card spire. That was nuts. Crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Can they teach me how to summon those, please? I'm still waiting on learning how, how to do that. I would like to I would like to know. 
I can't believe I still haven't found that. Maybe if I go talk to um, the mage dude again, or maybe in the mage's college, somebody will have it. But like, I haven't found it anywhere. I think that's crazy. have something to do with it. Yes. Cracking These me up that this thing is just walking. Yeah, let's see. You have this symbol for king and warrior. And of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. That one is dragonborn? Okay. There's gotta be a clue then. Somewhere. Do they just all need to be dragonborn? Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. Whatever you did, you worked. Let's see what those old ones left in our way. Okay. I'm a genius. That looks like a trap. Okay, so we gotta follow the dragonborn symbols. That's my guess. Yeah, I'm a genius. Do we disable the trap? Look safe now. Let's move. Nice. Yes, yes. I think we must be close to the entrance. I just have an innate ability to solve these problems, you know, being the dragonborn. Just it comes natural. Sky Haven Temple. Glass Mace of Fear. Wowzers. If that had a better enchant on it, that thing would be nuts. That face is creepy. No doubt it's triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Blood of the Dragonborn? You see how the ancient blades revered Reven Cyrodiil? Get some juicy lore in here. Juicy, juicy lore. Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Delphine, chill out. No one's been in here for so long. Let the man look. Yeah, I know, Esbern. It's crazy. I think it's cool. 
He's just being rude. Shores bolt, here it is. Aldwin's wall, so well preserved. I've never seen a final example of early second era Kavir sculpture in relief. Yeah. Shut up, lady. This is amazing. And she's just, like, yelling at him. Let the man do his job. Holy crap. Look, here is your friend. This she has been so rude this whole time. But Aldrin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against the Dragon Lord, the Lord, the legendary Dragon War. Aldrin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory. Mythic symbol. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant for. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin. That's really cool. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Greybeards might know. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. What do you have against the If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War? Or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you. Of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? It's not their fight. So that doesn't make sense. They trained me, and I can do whatever I want with that. But, like, I don't like her. <laughs> the Greybeards may have a point. Power is dangerous. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Better go see what Arngir knows about this shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. Yeah, because you're We'll look around crazy. Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alcaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Alcaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last Dragonborn contends with Aldrin at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Elphine? You might learn something of our own history. Get, get her, Asburn. Get her. Gold her. I love it. It's so cool looking. It's such a cool. Just all of it. All the little detail. So good. Cool. So we gotta go back to the Greybeards. Let's do a little look around, though. Blades gear. Oh, we're really heavy now, but... Dragon Bane? Hold on, hold on. What the hell is that? 
that a one-hander? 30 points of extra damage to dragons, 10 points of shock damage to others. Is that our new weapon? It's 28 plus 10 shock damage. And extra dragon damage. I think that's our new weapon. Pretty cool. Also, it looks sweet. Oh, that thing is awesome. Okay, we are super heavy, though, because we have that, um, and all that armor on us. But I want it because we want it for our, our place. Looks cool. It's really good heavy armor, too. If we, if we were rocking heavy, pretty solid. But we are not. We're at 36. I guess we can just chug a potion and get out of here, huh? That's why we have them. Let's keep looking really quick, though. Uh, did I, ch I mark that book down? I don't think so. What's in here? Little bit of monies. Any more books? Doesn't look like it. Well, it's just that's the exit. Okay, okay. We only have so long. The potions only last 300 seconds. Do we explore everything. So, we got that. We came in here. All good. Okay. Out to Skyrim. This is through the top, though, so I wonder what's out here. I figured there'd be something up here, but no. Well, a dragon, of course. Of course. Is it gonna come down now? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's flying away. Let's head back. It is almost 11. We're going to go back to Itzy. We're going to pick out a book to read for the day. Uh oh, no, we're so heavy now. We're going to put this cool stuff on this one. Nice. That looks pretty sweet. Be cool if we could give it the sword. Well, oh wait, we have a blade sword, don't we? I swear we got a blade sword. We did. We just have Dragon's Bane. Where's that? Boom. You can only place armor on the mannequin? What? That's lame.
I'll keep this on us too, just cause. Um, it's good against the undead. Makes them run and cower in fear. Let's pick out a book. We want to read one of the ones we just picked up. Uh, short history of Marwin. That sounds kind of cool. Annals of the of the Dragon Guard. That could be cool too. Or oh, or the Dragon War. Yeah, we could read that. Let's put our other books up quick. Three books. History of Morrowind. Those are dossiers. Okay. We're going to read this book quick and that'll wrap up for the day. The Dragon War. Get some more information on this. In the Marathic era, when Iskramor first set foot on Tamriel, his people brought with them a faith that worshipped animal gods. Certain scholars believe these primitive people actually worshipped the divines as we know them, just in the form of these totem animals. They defied the hawk, Oh, deified. The hawk, wolf, snake, moth, owl, whale, bear, fox, and the dragon. Every now and then you can stumble across the broken stone totems in the further reaches of Skyrim. Foremost among all the animals was the dragon. In the ancient Nordic tongue, it was Dragakon. Occasionally the term Dulvra is used. The language or dirt derivation of uh, that is not known. Using either name was forbidden to all except the dragon priests. Grand temples oops, were built to honor the dragons and appease them. Many of them survive today as ancient ruins, haunted by Dragar and undead dragon priests. Dragons being dragons embraced their role as god kings over men. After all, were they not fashioned in Akatosh's own image? Were they not superior in every way, every way to the hordes of small, soft creatures that worship them? For dragons, both... Uh, for dragons, power equals truth. They had the power, so therefore it must be truth. Dragons granted small amounts of power to the dragon priests in exchange for absolute obedience. In turn, the dragon priests ruled men as equal to the kings. Dragons, of course, could not be bothered with actual ruling. In Atmora, where Iskramor and his people came from, the dragon priests demanded tribute and set down laws and codes of living that kept peace between dragons and men in Tamriel. They were not nearly as benevolent. It's unclear if this was due to an ambitious dragon priest or a particular dragon or a series of weak kings. Whatever the cause, the dragon priest began to rule with an iron fist, making virtual slaves of the rest of the population. When the populace rebelled, the dragon priest retaliated, and the dragon priest could not collect the tribute or control the masses. The dragon's response was swift and brutal. So it was the beginning. The dragon war began. At first, men died by the thousands. The ancient texts revealed that a few dragons took the side of men. Why did this? Why they did this is not known. The priests of the nine divines claimed it was Akatosh himself that intervened. From these dragons, men learned magics to use against dragons. The tide began to turn and the dragons began to die too. The war was long and bloody. The dragon priests were overthrown and dragons were slaughtered in large numbers. The surviving dragons scattered, choosing to live in remote places away from men. The dragon cult itself adapted and survived. They built the dragon mounds and tombing the remains of dragons that fell in the war. They believed that one day the dragons would rise and reward the faithful. And that's happening now. 
Aluin has returned. And my book page has messed up so much. I am so sorry. We have 182. <laughs> what happened to that? All right. That was a good book. Good, good lore on the, what, what's going on with the dragons. Um, That's going to wrap up for the day, though. Uh, Thank you so much for hanging out and enjoying. I sure am. It's been so much fun playing through Skyrim. We're getting further and further with the books. 182, I believe, is where we left off for the day. Um, we'll be back Sunday morning, I believe, is the next time we stream. It'll be a comfy, cozy stream. Uh, probably just wearing another chill day of t-shirt and some shorts or sweatpants or something. I don't know. We'll see. It hasn't gotten that cool here yet. It's still a little toasty, so probably just a shirt and some shorts. Um, but we'll be back with Cyberpunk on Sunday, so that'll be exciting. Getting back into that. Love that game. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time.